Alright, what's going on guys? TG Outdoors back here with another video and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of, of a bass fishing challenge. So, yesterday I was at Walmart. I didn't film buying it or anything, but yesterday I was at Walmart and I looked at the fishing section and they had this bat bass kit. So I decided that most YouTubers try to catch a, a fish on each bait in the, like a bass kit challenge. So, I'm going to be trying that today. So, I'll go over the box real quick. So yesterday or last night I uh, came out here and I brought my GoPro but I forgot the SIM card and I had the best bass fishing day of my life. I caught 30 plus bass all out of this box so it should be really good today. So yeah, let's just get straight to the box. So the first bait is a 4 inch little green pumpkin uh, Senko and then this box comes with three out and four out uh, Texas hook hooks, and then it's kind of like a green pumpkin. I'm not exactly sure what color this is, but it's like a nice little lizard and a black and blue curly tail worm, a little like natural colored uh, trick worm, uh, black and blue uh, five inch or Senko, five inch Senko, and then a uh, watermelon red flake five inch shanko so each of these had eight worms i just used them all yesterday so yeah hopefully i can get them fish on camera i'm by myself right now but i'll be having some friends come out later so let's get straight to fishing all right we are first going to start out with i'm going to throw all these shankles wacky rigged and then same with the trick worm and then the curly tail and the lizard i'm just going to go text wait this texture rig but with the watermelon red flag, this Texas or a uh, wacky rig. This this literally caught me all my fish last night. Last night I caught like two four pounders and a couple of three and a half. So if I would have been in a tournament, I would have done this really good. So yeah, it was pretty awesome last night. So hopefully we get the same results today. But yeah, start casting around and hopefully something big bites. On little guy, I think. First cast, instantly. Ooh, I'm in a bigger fight. Oh, it's actually nice. He's staying down. Oh, big one. It's actually really nice. Really nice. Really nice for the first fish. There we go. That's how we do it, first cast, there we go. There we go. Nice two pounder. Pretty awesome for the first cast. I already lost my only worm left, but that's for the challenger. Just gotta catch one fish on each bait, so there we go. Next bait, we're gonna try the black and blue sankle. Let's get our wacky rig hook here. That was literally not even 10 seconds. As soon as my bait hit the water, that fish hit it. That's exactly how it was last night. Last night it was just crazy. And we have even better conditions today. So I think I'm going to hit that 30 fish mark again. At least I'm really, really hoping. So, but yeah. No. Nope. Let's see if we can cast it here and catch a fish on camera right now. Probably can. Oh, there we go. Yep, there he is. What is this? It's a bass? Yeah, it is. There we go. Cast number two. Cast number two, bass number two. Nice one pounder. Nothing, nothing huge, but we're knocking baits off, baits off this list real fast. So, yeah, here we go. For the next bait, we're gonna go straight to the trick worm, and then, yeah, we're gonna see how. Hopefully, we can get one right away. I have to turn the camera off. I got a phone call real quick, and I'll turn the camera back on. As I was saying, uh, got the trick worm, so I'm gonna throw it out there. 
can't go very far because it's a super light bait. Of course, the wind picks up. So it's hard to feel it. Hopefully, the bass just hammers it. So I'll be able to feel it really good. But yeah, I'll turn the camera on once something happens. I turn the camera off. I had one on. Set the hook. As soon as I turn the camera back on, I lost it. Hard to believe, but <laughs> I'll just keep the camera on this time. So last night, my fingers oh, he smoked it. Lost my worm. But last night, my fingers were so like basically like raw, like they're constantly touching water. So my skin was super soft. And when I had a fish on, I tried to like grab the line and lift it up into the, uh, the kayak. It just sliced all my fingers right open. So. Yeah, got to be careful with that today, but we're going to put a new trick worm on. This is the easiest rig to set up. You could do, literally use almost any hook, any of this plain hook for the wacky rig. I like these hooks because they do a good job of really getting down, hooking them deep. But hook the worm right in the middle, cast out. That was a good cast. Should get one. The farther away you usually get, oh, yep, this got hit. Missed them all, of course. Anything should stay on because, gosh, I wonder if it's sunfish or something. Because they're like, must be biting at the tail. But let's get back out there. There we go. Uh -huh. Finally. fish. Ooh. You drug yourself in that. Or the, the weeds. I don't even know if he's still on. Oh yeah, he is. Nice fish. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. First join of the day. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is a big one. This is a big one. There we go. Let's go. It took 10 minutes. Not get a fish to bite on the stupid trick. It's caught like four bluegills. Sorry. To get my scale out. Let's see how big this girl is. Pounds, eight ounces. There we go. All right, let's go for the release. Sorry, you can't even see that, but oh, there she goes. Get that weed out of her mouth. There we go. Finally. <gasps> Took a little bit of work, but we got her done with the old trick worm, so on to the next bite. The next bite that we're gonna use will be this little four inch one. Four inch green pumpkin uh sanko. I have that's a ball of weed. It's nice. So yeah, but I'm gonna get rigged up and I'll turn the camera back on.
There we go. These fish are fighting hard. like 10 minutes to finish that bait I don't know, maybe, well they were active I thought because I caught the first two first casts but yeah nice power and a half it's just pretty heavy pretty short fish but there we go on to the next bait for the next one we are going to be t putting away the spinning combo and one second Just grab the, and we're gonna be grabbing the bait casting combo. I had a fluke on last time I was using this rod because yesterday or last night I was using a different bait caster. I have it set up with something else, but we want a bait caster because we have this Texas rig hook and the big bass are jumping over there. I could probably catch on top of the bass today, but. We are going to try this curly tail worm. It's a weightless. You let it sink for a couple seconds. Maybe like five to eight. Just give it like a one second stroll. Maybe a few twitches. Let that tail do its thing. And then, yeah. Just wait for the big in the bite. This bait caught me two big ones last night. Like caught me one three and a half pounder so hopefully we can do that today with this bait so yeah turn the camera on what happens oh. been small because he took off the back the curly tail part so I gotta make this worm I gotta catch a fish on this worm because it's my last curly tail worm really wish I would have had this out last night because that would have been made the best video ever so but yeah hopefully there's a couple days coming up I can get out here and make some YouTube videos so I had a couple days at the end of July like this last year in early August where we just came out here and caught 30 bass a day between two people so hopefully I mean today they're kind of a lot slower than last night but we still got time so bass are out deep and catch another two and a half pounder on the curly tail worm the last worm too so all I did for that guy was as I said see him jump went out deep cast it let it sink for 30 seconds I felt a couple of head shakes and Good hook set though. <sighs> nice color. Um, probably almost a three pounder. Just a nice fat guy. So there we go. The next 
Snake's Bait. We're gonna be trying this like, I think it's Green Pumpkin. Green, pump, green Pumpkin Lizard. So, last night, this was probably the hardest bait to catch on, but I still caught him, so. Today might be a struggle, but let's go out deep and hope for the best. So I'll turn the camera on once. Something good happens. Got one of those. feels good to get that box done. I let that fish eat it for the longest time. Oh, finally. Oh, well, there we go. There's the box challenge. So yeah, every bait in this box is completed. And throughout today, I only have one leather left. Uh, two black and blue Senkos, two four inch Senkos, no watermelon red flake, or the trick worm, or the curly tail. So, gone through this box really fast. So, but yeah, that's the challenge. That's about it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, so yeah, so last night I came out here and had the best day of my life for bass fishing wise. Big fish and like quality and uh, like numbers wise. So, but yeah, it's been awesome out here. Caught one nice three pounder today, and it's a tough challenge in the last night, but now I'm just gonna go on to fish for fun, and please like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.